In 2020, the first claims emerged that the United States had developed a technological pilot tool for their future sixth-generation fighter. Two years later, similar claims included the theory that China had also developed its own technology. An interesting piece of news came from the Asian country. In late January, there was video footage showing the silhouette of a tailless fighter in the air. However, the video footage did not capture the flight directly, but rather a monitor used to observe the aircraft. There is no official information yet that this is a demonstration of China's sixth generation aircraft technology. It could be computer graphics or a sophisticated technical model. But the thing, that appears on the screen is different from the Chinese People's Liberation Army's J-25th generation stealth fighter. The source claims that the footage was taken over Institute 611. This is the aviation technology area of Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, the company that produces the J-20 aircraft. The general design concept of the JXX fighter is a sixth generation fighter that combines stealth, super exploration, super maneuverability, and short takeoff, abbreviated as 4S. One or more proposed designs are believed to combine several design features to improve stealth and maneuverability while reducing weight and drag. Chinese state television broadcaster China Central Television CCTV, asserted, The sixth-generation fighter remains the PRC's ambitious goal as they lag behind in terms of necessary technologies such as space-grade carbon fiber, advanced fighter engines, and ASA radar technology. Here we try to discuss or explain a little about the Chinese JXX, which according to many news, the fighter has advanced and modern technology. Claim to be able to rival sixth-generation stealth fighters from other countries. The technology demonstration of China's sixth-generation fighter program is called JXX. If the information is confirmed and it turns out that this is indeed a demonstrator test flight, then it is as predicted. And rightly so China is advancing alongside the United States in rapidly developing a sixth fighter ahead of Russia and other countries looking to develop next-generation fighters. Even years ago, China claimed to be developing a tailless sixth generation stealth fighter. It is for this reason that the video aroused great interest. Experts say this way the stealth characteristics of the aircraft will be improved compared to fifth generation fighters like the J 20 aircraft. Of course, there are also speculations. One is that it is rumored that the Chinese JXX fighter will operate with retractable canards. This means high maneuverability and increased stealth capabilities when not in use. Western analysts say that Beijing is expected to begin operating its sixth-generation fighter at about the same time as Washington. There may be a small difference of a year or two at most. It is said that around 2030, the United States will have to use its sixth generation fighter aircraft. A few hundred dollars will cost for one unit. Unlike the F-35, Washington plans to produce smaller quantities. But in recent years, there has been competition between China and the US, which means that the original plan regarding the number of aircraft produced could be changed if China dramatically increases production of its sixth generation fighter. America and China are far ahead of their competitors. Not just now. For example, the F-35 and J-20 are the only fifth-generation fighters in the world. While Russia plans to build its first squadron of Su-57s in the coming years, China has long since done so. Logically, China's technological advance over Russia for the sixth-generation fighter is still a few years away. It is estimated that when China and America start operating their sixth-generation fighters, the two countries will open up a huge gap in this field between themselves and the rest of the world.
times will continue to evolve, and warfare technology will also advance and give birth to very dangerous and deadly warfare tools or weapons. Future fighter wars will most likely involve much more advanced technology than what we see and have today. Here are some estimates of how future fighter wars might play out. 1. Unmanned aircraft, UVs, UAVs, or drones have become an important component in modern conflicts, and this will continue to grow in the future. Unmanned combat aircraft can be used for reconnaissance missions, airstrikes, and even aerial combat without a human pilot on board. 2. More advanced stealth technology. Future combat aircraft will likely have more advanced stealth technology to avoid radar detection and enemy attacks. This will make the aircraft more difficult to intercept and identify. 3. Hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic weapons, capable of reaching speeds several times the speed of sound, may be used in future warplanes. This will make the aircraft more difficult to pursue and enable extremely fast attacks. 4. Better connectivity. Future warplanes may be better connected to more sophisticated communications and intelligence networks. This allows aircraft to share real-time information with other land, sea, and air forces, allowing them to operate more effectively. Automated control. Artificial intelligence and automated control technologies will be increasingly used in combat aircraft. This can help pilots make quick decisions and provide the ability to operate in more dangerous environments. 6. Kinetic energy weapons and lasers. High destructive weapons such as kinetic energy weapons and lasers may be used in future combat aircraft. They can provide more efficient capabilities than conventional weapons. 7. Better defense software. Future fighter aircraft will be equipped with more advanced defense software to deal with enemy air attacks and avoid missiles and other weapons. Future fighter warfare will remain an important part of military conflict, but will be more sophisticated, connected, and able to operate in a variety of more complex roles. Warfighting technologies and strategies will continue to evolve over time, making it important to stay abreast of developments in this domain.